Yeah, we're talking of a pretty solid uh, uh, diaptase and uh, maybe some, well, predominantly diaptase, the whole matrix. And very interesting little crusts which happen inside, the little vugs, which uh, in some cases got filled with diaptase crystals and there seems to be some girthite, some other green material, which could be biodonite. Um, let's have a look at this section. Most likely some chrysocala associated too. And I think in some sections some bluishness. There again we have a totally different look, maybe more uh, typical of the diaptase as we used to. Now when I look at it quickly, uh, uh, from recent deposits of Brazzaville Conga, I might think it's that, but when I look at this side, but when I turn it over onto this side, it's more like the old Tantara diaptase. Um, there's a little bit of bluishness in some sections here too. Now, on this particular matrix, I have found uh, tiny azurite crystals before, which was most unusual. So, I am going to look under magnification again, get a bit of a repeat of the past. There is a bluishness over there. It could also be shatukite. You had, uh, in Tantara, you had at a stage a lot of shatukite associated with the diaptase. So, I expect that this is some older material. Um, maybe, maybe mid 2000s or even early 2000s. I'm not that good with time. You know, time flies at a certain point. Look at that lovely little rug of the diaptase there. And this is all from the, uh, I suspect, the Tantara mine, Katanga Copper Crescent in the Congo. Diaptase, from what I can see here, diaptase and perhaps some Shatukite or Krasakola.